Hello, in this tutorial we are going to find out bar bending schedule here in septic tank and we will start right from the bird okay we have already looked about the detail regarding the reinforcement over here we know we have double reinforcement over here and we have main and the distribution bars over here we have look different bands over here as well and the span over here as well okay so let's get started we will start right from main bar here at the bottom okay you can see we have main bar over here we will start right from this position and the detail of this main bar is here in the plan as well this is our uh, basically uh, our span okay and this is our cut length for this okay so i'll go here in bbs sheet serial number and we will start right from this position serial number as one and member this is what underground uh, uh, septic tank bed okay then we need to add here the size of this length breadth and and then depth okay are uh, the thickness so size over here is 11 feet 6 inches by 9 feet 6 inches so we will convert it into inches all of this unit in inches okay and uh, it is very important to convert it in inches because our calculations mainly will be in inches then at last we will convert those into fits okay so at start we need to convert all of the units in inches 11 feet 6 inches let's suppose you are working in meter and centimeter and the millimeter so at at start you need to convert all of the units from meter to the millimeters okay and at the end you can divide those on 1000 to convert it into meters so right now to convert uh, fit into inches we need to multiply it with what 12 okay so 11 feet 6 inches 6 inch we know 11 multiply by 12 plus 6 inch 138 inch okay r 11.5 feet multiplied by 12 inch okay 138 inch so this is basically the length next to it uh, we will add here the breadth as well so this is 9.5 feet okay we will convert this as well okay 9.5 feet 9.5 multiplied by 12 it is 114 inch 114 inch and then we need to add here the depth and as we are finding the bird we need to add this depth right from this position up till here thickness is 12 inch okay so we will add here 12 now we need to uh, just add here the particular bar detail okay so this is basically the main bar main bars okay and next to it we need to add here the spacing of the bar as well so for main bar we have this is the main bar okay so it is number four six inch center to center and top we have the same six inch center to center so let me put it over here okay six inch center to center and i have already explained the formatting over here how we can uh, create this kind of format this is very important okay so spacing is six inch center to center then next to it we need to create the bar shape as well and we know which kind of shape this is this is a bit kind of uh, okay we have l over here l over here okay and then straight shape so i'll create a shape over here click over here okay where you need to click you need to go here in home tab then font panel okay and then you need to go here in draw border option okay in border and then from here in draw border option okay you need to choose draw border okay this option so click over here and now we can create the shape over here so according to these lines okay so i want to create the shape like this style okay then straight shape and again the bend okay so this kind of shape is over here now before finding the cut length over here we need to go here and we need to choose the bend direction important one okay so what i'll do here which kind of bends we have we have two bends this bend and this bend and it is for 90 degree 
what 90 degree 90 degree mean 2d 45 degree 1d 90 degree if you remember okay 90 degree we have 2d 135 3d and 184d so this is 90 degree man so we will have what 2d i'll put the formula over here just see it closely equal to 2 into okay because we have two bands so i'll multiply it with 2 2 2 into 2d into d is the dia of bar now dia we will put under dia column so i'll select this column and remember we will divide we will put this dia in numbers but we need value here in inches so we will convert this number into inches so this cell divided by 8 numbers divided by 8 will give you what in inches okay so close this one and hit enter right now it is zero definitely okay because we do not have any kind of tie over here so uh, leave it as it is okay next to it uh, we do not have any kind of other band over here next we will move toward here and uh, we need to add here the band and uh, band what is the size of this band let's look here in the detail and what it okay okay bend in base 16 d bend in slab 9 d development length okay so bend in base is 16 d so we will put accordingly okay equal to okay 16 multiply by d is the dia of bar dia we will put over here divided by 8 in order to convert numbers into inches close this one hit enter so we have both of these values as zero but we will put here the dia and you can see the impact over here okay so dia which dia we are using over here let's check this one as well okay so the dia that we are using over here is number four okay what number four so i'll put here four okay so you can see the impact over here and uh, yes we need to choose a format as well over here i'll go here in numbers okay custom and i'll choose the format over here if it, it is very important okay so format is what double quotes numbers double quotes again space don't keep the space over here okay numbers hit enter so i'll copy this format over here as well okay number four and uh, i want to copy this format over here as well over here as well okay so number four you can see over here and a uh, bend directions over here is two inch okay and for both of these bends okay and uh, the bend length okay over here is eight inch it's mean that this band and this band is for 8 inch okay now what is the concrete cover okay so let's take the concrete cover over here and concrete cover in the foundation is 1 1 by 2 inch slab rc walls column beams water tanks okay so here it is 1 inch we will take here 1 inch okay in water tanks it is overall as 1 inch so we will take it as 1 inch you can take the foundation as well because this bed one one by two inch but not in water tank we will use one inch okay so i'll put here concrete cover as one inch it is okay for us next to it what we need to do is we need to find out number of bars okay these are main bars and let's move toward this direction number of bars how we can find out number of bars and uh, this is basically span so length is our span divided by spacing of this bar plus one will give us what the number of bars okay easy so span equal to okay start from here we have span over here length is our span in main bar case okay span and then divided by spacing so spacing you can see over here span divided by spacing okay but not span let me just go here okay so this is span minus concrete cover from both ends from this end minus again concrete cover from both ends span minus concrete cover divided by spacing okay so our spacing is over here and span divided by spacing plus one will give us what 
the total number of bars that are 23.66 bar but in real case we need number of bars okay as 23 24 not in the decimal digits 23.6667 so i'll suggest you one thing over here if you find this kind of values in number of bars all you need to do is you need to round down or round up this okay so if the value is uh, greater than 0.50 let's suppose right now it is greater than 0.50 okay 23.50 and the greater than okay then you can round up this one and if the value is less than 0.5 you can round down this one if let's suppose the value right now over here is 23.40 then we can round down this one and after decimal digit okay decimal point if the value is greater than 0.5 then if we can round up so i'll round up this one so how we can round up before this bracket after this equal i'll put the formula over here round up okay then i'll uh, start the bracket comma close the bracket okay and hit enter so instead of this we have right now 24 bars it is okay multiply by we have what number of members how many main bars we have or how many same members we have so at bottom we have main bar and at top we have main bars okay so members we will put here two okay and uh, next to it we need to find out what the total numbers and the total numbers will be equal to what equal to number of bars multiplied by number of members hit enter so we have total of 48 numbers now next to it we need to find out what the total length and the total length will be equal to cut length multiply by total number simple so how we can find out the cut length so cut length will be in this direction right from this position up till here we will have what the cut length okay so this is total breadth 9.5 feet from this we need to just detect concrete cover from both ends and remember in water tank overall we are just taking the concrete cover as 1 inch okay so don't think about we have walls over here or anything in water tank or in septic tank we will use the concrete cover as 1 inch okay so from this total breadth we need to detect concrete cover in order to find out the total cut length okay the straight length equal to uh, we have this breadth okay minus concrete cover from both ends so concrete cover 1 inch 1 inch okay hit enter so this is basically the straight length now we need to find out this bend as well we have find out already the bend okay it is 8 inch okay this one and is equal to 8 inch hit enter so we have find out the cut length over here okay this cut length minus bend deduction multiply by total numbers will give us the total length so how equal to start the bracket this plus this plus this then we need to do the deduction for the bend 90 degree bend minus this close the bracket multiply by total numbers okay this is total number close the bracket again and divide it on 12 in order to convert inches into feet okay if here we have millimeter and if we want to convert it into meter all we need to do is divide it on 1000 but this is the unit here is in inch we need to convert it in feet we need to divide it on 1 12 okay and hit enter so this is basically the total length as 504 feet okay and you can see automatically it is going here in under number 4 okay dia bar 504 feet okay and at the bottom you can see we have total weight in kg 152.45 and in ton it is 0.152 okay so these are the main bars now we need to find out the distribution bars as well so this video is already in the long one so in next tutorial we'll find out the distribution bars as well hope you really understand the process i'll see you in the next